What's good, family? Time to get ghosts. All right, family, we on our way to Chesterton. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I ain't got nothing to hold this GoPro up, so if I hit a little bump or something, this thing might go down. Just bear with me. I'll put it back up and get back to what we need to get back to. All right, so I woke up at five this morning. I made myself some uh, black tea and uh, I mixed some tailwind in it as well too. The cola flavor is caffeinated, so I'm not a real big caffeine person. But when I need to be up and alert, and might be TMI, but when I need to use the bathroom, I like to have my caffeine just to get everything up out of me that need to be up out of me. I had that. I also had a scratch energy bar, uh, the peanut butter chocolate chip, I believe, was the flavor of that. So that was about 270 calories or so. And that tailwind, I want to say, adds about another 200 calories to the. Uh, to the tea that I had as well too. So I'm sitting on about a good close to 500 calories, uh, decent amount of carbs in both of those. So I'm feeling all right. I also have a You Can Energy drink over here that I'm gonna start sipping on probably when I get over there. And then I hope I didn't forget it, but I also have some scratch energy chews that I'll take um, probably about 10, 15 minutes before the race as well too. That also has a little bit of caffeine in it too. So like I said, I'm not a real big caffeine person, but during these times, I like to have just a little bit of caffeine in my system just to make sure I'm alert and ready. I don't get real jittery or wired up or anything like that when I have caffeine. It's just good to have that alertness. All right, so race strategy wise, um, it's pretty simple, man. Uh, I've talked about it before. This half marathon is called What the Hill Half Marathon. So obviously, you can expect at least one big ass hill in this half marathon. And that's pretty much how it's set up. Um, if you look at the elevation map, which I'll put up as well too, you can just see it's just a gradual climb until you hit this big apex about, I would say it's halfway or a little past halfway in the race right now i've never run this race before so i really don't know how it's set up um i'm just gonna figure it out as i go but strategy wise that first half of the race i'm taking it pretty conservative when i say pretty conservative i'm gonna go about 735 just to see how i'm feeling so race pace for this race is 730 right that's my goal that i'm shooting for which it had me at about a 138 or so, right? Uh, the goal obviously is sub 100, but I don't wanna cut it too close. So I'm not shooting for 139.59 on my pace. I'm shooting for a 138 just to make sure that I'm actually clearing this uh, 100 meter, 100 meter, 100 minute barrier with a little bit of cushion, right? Cause you just never know what's gonna happen. You always wanna respect the distance in any type of race that you're doing. So 7.30 is race pace. All right, I'm back. I told y'all that might happen, but 7.30 is race pace, and 7.35 is how I'm gonna come out conservatively, because looking on that elevation map, you can just see it's just a gradual climb. Looks like it's probably some rollers in there as well, too. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm conserving energy for when it gets to that hill, and then when I'm over that hill, the biggest one there, then I'm getting back on race pace, and then as we get closer to I'll say 10 miles, right? Really start to, to pick it up if I have the energy to do so. But uh, yeah, that's it, man. I'm gonna get there with plenty of time to uh, stretch. Not really stretch, but do my dynamic warm up. You know, I love to jump rope, so get some jump ropes in, some skips in, some dynamic movements and stuff like that. And really just kind of just relax, walk around a little bit, just get the fresh air, take all that stuff in and just get myself mentally ready. I like to be early for races. I don't like rushing and I hate that. I never get anxiety about really running a race, racing a race. It's all the shit outside of the race that makes me nervous. So getting there on time, finding parking, packet pickup, packet drop off, all that stuff, uh, having enough time to warm up, like all that stuff outside of the race, that's shit that makes me nervous. So that stuff, most of the time I can take care of and I have control over. So I wanna make sure the things that I have control over, I'ma keep control over 
and make sure that that shit is taken care of. So I'm gonna be out there a little early and then uh, do all the things I need to do. It's not a huge race, so I should be able to find a decent place to park and be close to the start line so I can get back in my car and just sit down and get off my feet a little bit. Oh my God, I left my shoes. I gotta go get my shoes, y'all. I'm tripping, I gotta go get my shoes. All right. Y'all, you can't make this shit up, man. This is crazy. My ass supposed to have been there about 10 minutes ago, parked, comfortable, stretching, doing all the shit I was just saying I was supposed to be doing and not have anxiety. And look at my goof ass, full of anxiety, because I'm just now leaving from the crib, get back on the highway to get to this damn race. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Moosam, JC. Moosam. Calm down. Boy, you can't make this shit up. The irony of me talking about what I was talking about. Only to realize that I left my fucking shoes at the crib. Damn. You got to be kidding. Woo. No. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Ah, calm down. Calm down. I should get there and still have about a good... 20, 25 minutes to like calm down, do a little something, and just be cool, right? Um, I did pack and pick. I already got my bib. My bib is already on my shirt. Like I'm, I'm good to go. It'll just be getting parked. Probably use the bathroom as soon as I get there, and then you know get some skips in, just do some movements, and just calm my ass down. And right now I'm upset. As you can see, as you would probably be as well too. How the fuck you forget your shoes though, of all things? Ugh, all right, man. all right. I don't even remember what I was talking about. I think, I know I was talking about the anxiety piece. I don't remember anything else that I really said. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, guess what, y'all? The direction was wrong. So, not only am I late, but the directions I had had me pulling up in somebody's apartment complex. Boy, you can't make this shit up. I tell you. I tell you. This is why. So, I don't know. We gonna see, man. We gonna see. It's already past 7 o'clock. I was planning on being there over a half hour ago. <sighs> you can't make this shit up, man. Can't make it up. Ooh, Lord have mercy. It, it must gonna be a good race, man. It has to be a good race today. For me to have to go through all this, it has to be a good race. That's what I'm gonna keep telling myself. All right, family, I'm here. It is 17, I got 20 minutes till start, so I'm gonna put my stuff on. Probably don't even need to use the bathroom now. We just gonna get after it, all right? So I'm gonna catch y'all at the start, man. Let's get it. Right here. All right, let's get it. Hey, hey, hey. Gonna work, baby. I see you. <laughs> Eat those hills. Eat those hills, baby. <laughs> Bro, my guy running in sandals. I love that shit. <laughs> he out here killing me. Bro, straight old got on some sandals. I ain't gonna catch him. Let him do his thing. Killing it. All right, y'all, three miles in. First mile, 747. Second mile, 729. Mile three, 733. So I'm gonna try to stay on that pace right there. And, hey man, it's been a lot of rollers. Been a lot of hills so far. I'm not used to this, so gotta keep it conservative. All 
right halfway point. Whew. Let's get it, man. All right, check in time real quick. I'm currently on mile eight. Whew. My pacing is all over the place. Good job. Uh, I want to say mile four was like 726. Mile five was like 8.15. Mile six was like 7.44. Mile seven is around like a 7.13. So, like I said, I'm all over the place right now. But I'm not feeling terrible. I'm not feeling terrible at all. So I still got energy to kick it in. So that's the play. I still got a long way to go. So I'm not trying to get too aggressive, too early. But we currently on mile eight. I'll check back maybe about mile 10. We'll see. All right, we at the mile nine mark. Seven, we're about 713. Eight, 648. It was a big day out here there. And just ran 720 on mile nine. So I'm sticking to it, man. We gonna get it. Still got a lot of rollers. You can see that big hill over there. All right, man, 10 miles, 7.23. Time to start kicking it in. Boy, just remember seeing everybody in a Boston and London videos and the excitement from the crowds cheering and the hype. Boy, I ain't got a bird chirping for my ass right now. <laughs> but damn it, I love it. Where else would I rather be right now? In the open roads, running the tough ass high marathon. Who got it better than the boy JC? Nobody. Let's get it. A few moments later. All right, y'all, I ain't got that much battery life, but we did it. Whew, Lord have mercy, that was, that was tough. <coughs> I, <coughs> excuse me. I thought the hills portion was gonna be tough. Make sure I ain't passed my car up. But man, when you get to that trail, Oh, that trail beat me up, man. All of them turns. Ooh, Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. That was tough. Now, when you see my time, my official time, it's going to show it was way faster than what I really ran. I believe my watch just told me 139.20, which is under 100 minutes. Congratulations, JC. They clock might say like 136 something. I said this before. I don't know what it is with they measuring, but it's just always off. I would love to say that I ran a 136, but I know truly that I didn't do that. It was 139.20. We gonna run with that today. And uh, I'll try to give y'all some more recap as I'm in the car on my way back home. But we did it, man. Sub 100, 139. Let's get it.